Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph this system of linear inequalities. And you can see here I have three inequalities. And so basically what I'm going to do is graph each and every one of these inequalities separately. Um, and then I will determine their shading and then determine the feasible region. So when graphing these, um, before I even get into testing my points um, and determining what their graphs are going to look like, I usually like to graph, rather than looking at inequalities, I like to graph thinking of them as equations. So I'll have graph this as 3x plus 2y is equal to negative 6. And I'll use, go back to the inequality when I need to determine shading, which and dash or side, which you can see these are all greater than, greater than, less than. They're not greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, so therefore they're going to all be dashed boundary lines. Now, when graphing a uh, inequality that's in standard form, as long as my two coefficients of x and y are, or 6 is divisible by my two coefficients, then I like to use standard form. And standard form basically just says is I can find the x-intercept by plugging y in for 0. So I'm going to do this kind of in my head here. Uh, zero, 2 times 0 is 0, so I have 3x is equal to negative 6. That means x is equal to negative 2. On a couple of videos, I show work, but since I kind of have a lot of work here, I'm going to kind of move through this a little bit quicker. To determine the y-intercept, oh, well, let's write this as a point. Then the point here is my x-intercept is negative 2 comma 0. To find the y-intercept, I just plugged 0 in for x. So I put 0 in for x. 3 times 0 is 0. So I have 2y equals negative 6. Divide by 2 on both sides, y equals negative 3. So therefore, this coordinate is 0 comma negative 3. Okay? So let's go ahead and plot those two points. So I have negative 2, 0. And I have 0, negative 3. 1, 2, 3. And again, remember this is a boundary line is not a part of our solution. So we'll use a dashed line. All right. Now let's go and move on to the next equation, or next inequality, which I'll rewrite as an equation. Again, for graphing, it's not going to make a difference. Now you can see that 5 and 2 are not divisible into my value of c. So therefore, rather than using the intercept form like I did here, I will use um, slope-intercept form. So to do that, I need to solve for y. So I'll subtract a 5x on both sides. And therefore, I have 2y equals negative 5x minus 2. We always want to write this term, in our variable term, in front of our constant. Then I'll divide by 2. And our final answer is y is equal to, remember, divide the 2 into both of your terms. So I have negative 5 halves x minus 1. Now remember when graphing, so now I know this is my y-intercept, which is a coordinate point 0, comma, negative 1. And here is my slope. And remember, the slope is the ratio between the change in the y over the change in the x for your y-coordinates over your x-coordinates. And remember, when you have a negative 5 half slope, remember, we can rewrite that as negative 5 halves or 5 over negative 2. And I don't know why I'm writing going down, but it doesn't really matter where you put that negative, above and below, as long as you do not represent it as negative 5 over negative 2, because then that would be positive 5 halves. So let's go and graph this. I'll go down to negative 1. And then I'll go um, positive 5 to the left 2. So I'm going to go up 5 units. So the change in the y coordinates, I'm going to say, is positive 5. So I'll go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then to the left, 2 units. So I went, oops. So I went up 5 to the left, 2 units. And again, remember, this is a, not, this is a dashed line. So following my slope, I'll just continue here. All right. And then the last inequality here is I have y is um, less than 5. And when graphing this here, I just have y is equal to 5. So that means the y value is always going to be equal to 5. So therefore, I'll just go up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And whenever y is equal to 5, that's just going to be a horizontal line. Again, that's dashed. OK, so there are my three boundary lines. Now I need to determine where is the feasible region. And to do that, I'm going to want to choose a test point. Now I notice that um, none of my points go through my test point 0, 0, which I always like to use as long as none of my boundary lines go through 0, 0. And all I'm simply going to do is plug in 0, 0 for each of my inequalities and determine if it's true or false. If it's true, that's where I'm going to be shading towards from my boundary line. So for this one, if it's true, I shade towards the, um, the test point. And if it's false, I'm going to shade away from it. So let's do the first one. So I have 3 times 0 plus 2 times 0 is greater than negative 6. For, see, again, I use the equations to help me graph, but now I'm using inequalities to help me shade and determine dash or solid. So here I have 0 is greater than negative 6. The only problem is this. If you do, it, if you do all of them at once, you've got to remember, what was the one that, 
what was this one again? Oh yeah, that was the one where I graphed the two y-intercepts. So in this case, that is true. So since it's true, I am going to shade above this line. Now let's move to the next one. 5 times 0 plus 2 times 0 is greater than negative 2. 0 is greater than negative 2. And in this case, you can see, again, that is true. So for this inequality, which does not go through 0, 0, it is true. All right. And now in the last one, I have 0 is less than 5, which in this case, you can say is also going to be true. Because I don't have an x and or a, I don't have an x or a y, but I can put in zero in for y, and that is true. So now I am shading below this, wait a minute, da, 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 da. below that, above that. So you can see that the only region where it's going to be true for all three of them is going to be right here. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That will be your feasible region, and that is how you saw uh, graph a system of inequalities of three of them. Thanks.